All right. So today we are with Jimmy Song. Uh, and Jimmy Song is one of like famous Bitcoiner. Everyone like you know, if read the OG, <laughs> like Jimmy Song is one of them. Uh, so Jimmy, uh, I just have a quick question for you. Like, what would be uh, your message for a Bitcoiner in Indonesia, and what is the importance of having Bitcoin, especially for countries like Indonesia, which is like a big population, but also still developing countries. Yeah, so this is the same advice that I would give everybody in every country, which is save money in Bitcoin, because this, this is the way that you can plan for the future, um, create goods and services, uh, you know, try to start your own business or whatever. It, it, it's the ability to be your own bank that is the important thing. Um, you know, the U.S. has an unfair advantage over developing countries like Indonesia through the IMF, World Economic Forum, World Bank, stuff like that. Um, and the quicker that the people of Indonesia uh, adopt Bitcoin and throw off the shackles of the international monetary order, the faster their recovery will be because, you know, like it or not, you are under monetary imperialism. And, you know, what we're seeing in El Salvador, I think you can bring to, to Indonesia. You just need visionary leaders that actually recognize the importance of Bitcoin. And, you know, the, I, I think the population there will thrive once you take off these shackles of monetary restrictions that, uh, you know, these world economic people do. And uh, what would you think, like, will, do you think in the future Bitcoin will be like a global reserve currency or is it going to be like um, everyone still using their own fiat system but backed by the Bitcoin? Yeah, I think it'll be the global reserve currency. And, uh, and you know, I, I don't know exactly the form that it'll take, but I, I suspect it'll be the global reserve currency. But, you know, the thing for Indonesians, uh, the, the important thing is to get out of that the current monetary system because every everybody is trying to keep a peg to the dollar right within a certain range and so on until you get fiat collapse usually it's through imf loans and, and you know like leadership that wants to extort uh, extract and embezzle money from the imf or something like that and you know it, it's a horrible system and once you knock that out right like and you're able to actually be a self-sovereign country, I think a lot more human capital stays within the country. You get a lot more development, a lot more infrastructure, a lot more, you know, just goods and services that come out of uh, the country. And you get a lot more economic uh, development, which is, I think, ultimately what you want. And Bitcoin is your path. I think El Salvador is showing the way. I, um, and yeah, that, that that's where you want to go. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for your uh, really insightful uh, comments and also thought about Indonesia. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm here with JP Sears and uh, JP, I want to ask you why do you think Bitcoin and freedom is very important for everyone around the world, not only American in general? Yeah, well, I, I think Bitcoin and freedom are important. First off, I think they're synonymous. I think Bitcoin is the digital expression of freedom. And why I think that's important for people is freedom is what makes life worth living. That's why, you know, if people are deprived of freedom long enough, they become willing to die in the name of regaining their freedom because you're not living unless you're free. Freedom is our God-given state, in my opinion. It's how we're meant to live. We got problems when that's infringed on. And for me, Bitcoin is the digital expression of freedom and sovereignty so we need freedom in our three-dimensional world but also in the present time obviously the digital world helps excel things forward for the bad or good so that's why i'm incredibly excited about bitcoin and we also know you have to be financially stable to a degree to have freedom and we're seeing currencies all over the world melting you know inflation in the u.s amongst other places it's just out of control. So storing your value to protect and preserve your present and your family's future in a currency that's melting away, that's not freedom. But Bitcoin offers us, in my opinion, a very safe, secure, stable store of value, which I love. Thank you so much, JP, for that answer. And yeah, get back to you, Pintu.